All right, so Cassie's a weird one. There's a point in time where Cassie was arguably the best character in Mortal Kombat 11. Like, she was the one. Like, the tournament results, a lot of people were using her, and it was obvious she was just really fucking good. Then something happened where, you know, she got a couple of nerfs. It is what it is. And then a couple of months later, I don't really see people using Cassie like that. The only person I really use Cassie like that is Samij, like, at, like at a pro level. You will see every a Cassie every now and then, but it's just like, it's weird seeing her go from arguably the best character in the game to just a lot of people abandon her. And like, funny funny thing too is that I used to main Cassie. I, st I still use her a ton. Um, but yeah, I remember just telling myself, I don't really want to use Cassie anymore. It's like, she was really good. She got certain things taken away from her. And then, you know, it is what it is. I still use Cassie a ton, not gonna lie. Not as much as I used to, but like, if you really break down Cassie, she's arguably a top 10 character. Easily. Easily. Like, you know, but let's just go over some things that makes Cassie really good. Um, I just want to go over, so just to remind people that this character is, it's a fucking problem. So, you know, variation I used with her, obviously, I talked about this in the past, is this shit is just so fun to me. I actually think it's really good. They did nerf it. It is what it is. But there's that, you know. And then you also have this one to get a crushing blow. Armor breaking move. And then I think everyone is rocking this move right now. It's just one slot. Might as well use it, right? So for Cassie, what makes her really good is that she doesn't have to play the I poke you, you poke me game. She has a 9 frame mid. Arguably, in my opinion, probably... Yeah, definitely the best 9 frame mid in the game. Right there with Jackie's. Um, it's really good. There's an overhead that follows up. Like, staggering it is really fucking good. Doing, like, it spaces characters out really, really good. Um, and there's just so many mind games to it. There really is. Um, and, like, you, you could just beat people out. It used to be zero, but now it's, like, minus three, which is completely fine. But there's a lot of mind games to it. And just, it spaces your, your opponent out really good. You could do stuff like that. Or you could even fucking jump in on them. Or you could do a down four or whatever. You can, like, just one, stagger it. Or one, one, and they're waiting for it. And then, like, man, there's so many mind games to this freaking mid. So there's that. So she has a really good, you know, forward mid. I mean, uh, a nine frame mid. Then she has an oppressing ass mid right here. This is just... With Punish City right here. You can just step back, get in on your opponent, and it's really good. So do something like this. Wait for your opponent to poke, grab them, do that mind game. Or stagger it one, step back, make them whiff their pokes and get in on them. It's like your opponent really doesn't know when you're going to go in on them. One thing I like to do sometimes, I'll do it once. And then do a short hop just to be a little shit. So there's that. And then you can just throw your opponent off for that. For that hit right there, and then you could complete it. Yes, they could duck it and just punish the shit out of you. But you condition your opponent um, for uh, for this right here, right? Oh, sorry. Boom, boom. Or you just condition them to poke. Boom. You can grab their ass right there. So it's really good. There's like so many mind games to it that people fail to realize. You could, of course, do this to your opponent. Do it once, and the next time you do this stuff, wait for them to poke and grab them out of their shit or short hop them or throw your mid taking your turn back or you know you could just say fuck it go into this there is a flawless gap in it that's one of the things that they did nerf so you could flawless block it it is what it is um but still there's lots of mind games to it you could play it safe with it you could it, there's lots of mind games to it so it's both these mids are just why use any other move to be honest like and i see literally a ton of cassie players this is all they do this is it and then add a down four that's all you really need with this character. Stagger it, strike throw. Not only that, but you could also get good damage off these moves. So it's like, it's really good if you ask me. Now, what makes like Cassie really difficult and makes her really fucking good are all of her highs. This fucking mind game she has with her highs are just, man, where the fuck do I begin? Um... Her best staggers are easily her highs. These are just oppressing as fuck. They will just like, man, don't fuck up. But with these, man, this shit is so annoying to deal with. Um, 
this stagger I actually learned this stagger right here from actually one of the subscribers god I forgot your name but I, I, we're gonna call you little Xanax I know you have Xans in your fucking name one thing he would do to me and I could never react to this shit is his this into the 9 frame mid cause you think about it the second hit comes out in 23 frames you have the block advantage of zero, and you could like throw your nine frame mid, and it just becomes a guessing game. It does this, boom, grab, this, boom, and then go to. The There's just so many mind games to it. It's like, fuck, or you could even do something like this. Like, man, Jesus Christ, let me fucking play, you know? Um, he would do this to me, and I would never react. I would always start pressing, and it would just be like, man, really, really difficult to deal with. And this is a nice crushing blow, 26%. That is what it is. Um, so there's that. Another really good high is this one of course a lot of people just stagger with it one two get your grab game going or one two leaves really nice space and just the perfect enough space for the nine frame mid like you see that right here boom boom or even if i land it right here boom like there's just so it's just it's really nice right then you also have this one which is like really interesting it will throw players off again you have the hit advantage zero you can step back going to this make it with their pokes and go in on them and then you can also complete it for safety uh, minus three it's pretty fucking good if you ask me like one boom step back go into it or or one two and then go into your nine frame mid it's up to you you can see how your opponent reacts to staggers you could do it make them press a button go in on them or one two or just going so like her strike throw game is really really good if you condition them for it like come on don't play with me now so there's that um, so all of her highs are really fucking good if you ask me um, even this one right here um, One two and then you go into your nine frame mid minus one really really good. It's really tight like man That's you're gonna your opponent cause it's gonna have to like start mashing on you You can do one something like this boom or you can do something like what is it one two step back going man Alright like yeah, so you, this should just give me a headache looking at it. It's like there's just so much shit you can do with it now, one move I use a ton, me personally, and I, don't, I only see people use this as an anti-air because it is a ridiculous anti-air. It really is. Like, boom, gosh, all right, boom, boom, boom. You can get your damage going with it, but I like to use this move to get in on my opponent. Let me explain to you why. One thing that you can do with, with, with this move, right? Say, good move just to get in on your opponent has really good range. You know, this has good range, so this one is like, man, you hit your opponent with it, and it literally becomes a guessing game. Like, you don't always have to complete the string. One thing you can do is close into this. The one thing I do all the time is, boom, go with that. Low gunshot is guaranteed. That is guaranteed. They try jumping. They try doing anything. They're going to get hit by it. You add that. That's 26% right there. 26% right there. They try jumping. They're going to get hit by that. It is what it is. Not only that, but it's also a good way of setting up your your green bubble of mass destruction of sexual eruption. So there's that. But you know, one thing you could do if you if you land this, you could get your high game going, which is like what the fuck? Like boom, one two, grab game or boom, boom, grab, boom, and then you could just throw your opponent off, or you could even do something like this, boom, 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 and they think it's their turn, they just go into that for yeah. Um, I like using this move to get in on my opponent. Yeah, they could duck it and uppercut the shit out of you, but if you just play it right and you see that with punish opportunity, boom, throw that shit out, clip your opponent, and that's that. So, you know, if you ask me, I, I think Hassie is really, really, really strong. Um, she has really annoying highs. They're just, man, just, you just don't know what, what's gonna happen. She has oppressing ass mids. She also has these mids. Like right here. Now this is a low starter. This is really good for just like spacing your opponent out, clipping them, and then get some really nice damage off of it. Like just unbreakable damage off of it. Push them all the way over there. They also have this stagger, which a lot of people, I rarely see people really use this. I know Samir uses this every now and then, but it's just a ridiculously good stagger. Like, dude, if they're blocking this shit, like, like, oh, sorry, boom. Like, man, like, it's minus two is just so good for grabbing because of that second hit. You just don't know when that second hit's going to come out. You just boom, grab, or boom, boom. You just don't really know. And then you can do something like this. Boom, boom, and then just throw them off or 
one, one, two, grab, or like, man, or one thing I like to do is do this, and to go into a short hop, just do a ghetto fitty fitty, <laughs> it's, it's, it, it, believe me, this shit catches a lot of people, but there's that, so, like, she's a very complete character, very, very complete character, I just don't know what they're gonna do with her in the future, like, what, you, like, what are you guys gonna do, nerf her, like, what are you guys gonna do, give her buffs, like, She's at a really awkward state where she's just like, I don't know, like, what do you really do with Cassie? Like, how do you, what, what are we going to do? Well, like, that's the question. What are we going to do with Cassie, you know? Um, but right now, I think she's very, very strong, if you ask me. I think she's at a really good place right now. Very, very awkward state because just like, what do you really do with her? Are we going to nerf her? Like, she is kind of the dark horse of Mortal Kombat 11. I just, I just don't understand why. And even myself, I stopped using Cassie. I don't know why. Um, and the funny thing is, I probably got in more W's with Cassie than any character I've used. I get more W's with Cassie than my Aaron and my Scarlet, which is kind of weird. And I don't really use Cassie like that. It's, it's weird. I don't know. I just, I don't know. If you guys are a Cassie main or you guys stop using Cassie, let me know in the comments why you guys stop using Cassie or why you still use Cassie. I would appreciate that. That being said, holla holla back. Check you bastards later. Deuces.